What's going on everybody? So today's video is going to be a quick tank tour. We're going to look at some corals. We're going to look at some new corals. We're going to look at some coral growth, some coral color. Also, um, I did change some of the bulbs in the T5 fixture. I'm running a little 30 day experiment, so we'll get into that. And also, I'm going to be changing out my sand bed. I need your guys' help. Hopefully you have some advice for me, so stay tuned and let's just get right to it. All right, so I'm gonna be doing an old school update, which is pretty much just grabbing the phone, doing a little tour of the tank here, no editing. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll hear the dog barking. Maybe the camera will get a little bit out of focus, but whatever. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the tank at the moment is really, really blue. I am trying a one month experiment with my tank and I am going to be only running the ATI Blue Plus and the ATI Actinic Bulbs. Normally I throw Coral Plus in the mix um, and it does make the tank a little bit brighter, um, but I wanted to see what um, just these two bulbs will do for the coral. I like the way it looks in person. It's got a nice, um, it's kind of a dark blue. The sand almost looks a little bluish purple, which I don't really like that much but I'm gonna run through the experiment for a month and see what happens. I just basically wanna see if any of the corals change color and if the growth continues to stay the same. Um, I'll put the gel filter on here. We'll see if maybe that makes the tank look a little better. Eh, it kind of brightens things up a little bit. Uh, with so much blue over the tank, it kinda of makes some things look green, but we're gonna run through it anyway. So, um, tank is doing good. Everything is doing very well. Uh, I am currently happy with 8.0, as close to 8.0 for my alkalinity as possible. I'm doing water changes about every 10 days to every two weeks, around there. It depends on when I feel like doing it. I'm still manually dosing two part, basically just dosing the alkalinity portion of it daily. Uh, I do 10, mil 10 milliliters um, every night around 10, and then Usually around 8 a.m. I do another 10 manually. So, but there's a couple new corals to the tank. Let's see if I can. Uh, you can see there's this like teal colored um, candy cane colony, which I just got the other day. I uh, really like that color. It looks pretty cool right next to the green one. And I actually fragged a little bit of it off there. I didn't like the shape of it because it was hitting the rock, so I figured I'd do that. And let's see if we can get a little bit of a focus on this. This is a really nice uh, Rasta Zoanthids colony. It's looking pretty good. So um, you can see that I do have a good amount of coral on a little DIY frag rack there. And then one over here as well. I have a lot of stuff on the sand bed. Oh, and there's another one here. So I have a lot of stuff on the sand bed. And I have a Scooter Blenny and a Tiger Conch that I really like. And I kind of wanted to do this to give them a little more roaming room, I guess you could say. I, I noticed that the Tiger Conch was like getting stuck places, so I wanted to give them as much room as possible. Um, a lot of this coral is leaving the tank um, very soon. I got all this GSP that's all going. There's GSP in the back. All the frags on the glass are getting out of here very soon. Glass is a little dirty. Yep, my glass does get dirty. You can kind of see it right here. But yeah, it does get dirty. But um, like I said, everything is doing very well. You could see everything is extremely happy. Everything has good polyp extension, good color. All the encrusting corals favia right here that thing is encrusting all the way around same thing with the favia and the jack-o-lantern back there everything is doing really good let me see if I can maybe zoom in on some acros here and a milli there it is you can see the crazy growth that thing is having and look at that acro back there completely taking over the rock and maybe if I move slow enough you can see this Monty is extremely happy and encrusting all the way around. 
the tank is nice and clear. Again, mind the dirty glass. It's dirty glass to me. You can even see the back wall. I have not been able to clean it as often as I do because of all the coral, but everything is doing well. Extremely happy. There are going to be some big changes, not big changes. For me, it's a big change. I am going to possibly be removing the sand bed. The only reason I want to remove the sand bed is because this is the seafloor special grade carob sea sand and it's such a big grain that it's actually growing a lot of, let's see if I can zoom in on this, there we go. You can see that uh, it's got a lot of coralline algae on it and I don't like that look on the, rock, on, the, on the sand bed. The rocks are completely purple, almost completely purple from coralline algae but I don't want the sand to be purple and pinkish colored either. So I'm probably going to be sucking the sand out, I would say um, middle of July. What my plan is, look at this, see, random, no, no focusing, there we go. So I'm thinking the middle of July, what I'm gonna end up doing is, is I'm not gonna take off one side of the sand bed and then put another. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly start taking out as much as I can from like say one side of the tank, maybe like a third. Take out a third, let it go for you know a week, then do another third, let it go for a week, then do another third, let it go for a week. So it'll probably be bare bottom in here for um, probably a week once all the sand is out. And then what I will end up doing is I'm gonna go back to using the Carib Sea Fiji Pink. That's what I've always used and I've always liked it. Um, and I'm probably gonna have the sand bed at about an inch deep. This is about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half in some spots. But um, I just liked the look of the other sand a lot better. So, you know, maybe stay tuned to that. Who knows, maybe I'll crash the tank, I doubt it. I know some people say, oh, if you take all your sand out all at once, it's gonna destroy things. I'll probably get a, I'll probably get an algae bloom, you know, bacteria bloom when I um, add the new stuff, but you know, some diatoms, but that's part of it. I used to freak out when I had diatoms, but I'm not gonna freak out this time. So, but like I said, everything's growing. This Cinularia back there has definitely grown a lot. This Duncan, I got a lot, I gotta get a lot of these corals out of here. Um, I've always liked Duncans, but you could see what they do. They will just get humongous. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything is doing well. This is my little tank update and some future plans, removing the sand bed, and again, so we're looking at the 1st of June. Um, it's been about, I would say, three days already where the whole tank has been under blue lights only. So I'm gonna let it go to July, and then we'll do another tank update, and we'll look at some coral to see how it has changed, if it's changed at all, if it stopped growing, if it's growing faster. Um, so this is pretty much just a quick documentation of how everything looks. So I'm going to be taking before pictures, still still pictures of before, and then in a month's time we will see um, how it all looks and uh, if it looks better or if it looks worse. So that's it for this uh, little episode. So tune in, stay tuned. If you guys have any advice on changing a sand bed if you've done it before and you've had it either work or not work let me know in the comments down below um, I really am curious to uh, see if my method is gonna work I haven't really researched it I'm just gonna do it and that's it but if you have done it a specific way and it has worked perfectly please let me know so thanks for watching everybody and uh, I'll see you next time